Grab your Bibles. Let's uh, go through the Word. All right, so last time Brad uh, uh, just blasted through this uh, really incredible narrative here in Mark chapter 9 um, where Jesus heals uh, a boy who's possessed by an impure spirit. And there's so much in here that uh, he and I were just chatting about it. Uh, and there's something that we want to grab uh, and pick up and talk about just a little bit deeper and a little bit more here at the end of the cha- of the of the narrative. So if you pick up with me in verse 25 of Mark 9, it says, When Jesus saw the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently, and came out. The boy looked uh, much like a corpse, so much like a corpse that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, this kind can come out only by prayer. That's what we want to talk about. See, uh, as we set the scene, we have the disciples who are um, uh, the few that are still uh, left at the base of the mountain are trying to do the work that Jesus had set them to do. Uh, He's already sent them out to to cast out impure spirits and, and to spread the gospel, the good news about the kingdom of heaven. So they've already had some experiences with this, but but there's this demon that's possessing this boy, and, and no matter what they do, nothing seems to work. And then Jesus shows up and does what only Jesus can do. He casts out the demon. But what I want to look at specifically is their short conversation here right at the end because uh, they're concerned. They had been granted authority by Jesus to be able to go ahead and cast out these demons. And yet, for some reason, this demon that they were uh, commanding in the name of Jesus to come out of this boy would not come out. And so they ask him, why, why couldn't we drive it out? Jesus, you you gave us this authority. You taught us how to do this, and it wasn't working. And Jesus replies, this kind can come out only by prayer. How many situations in life have you dealt with where that's the answer? Where you're struggling and you're frustrated. When you do everything within your power to run after and, and try and fix the problem that's at hand, uh, when, uh, when you've exhausted every possibility, when you've gone to every mentor that you have to ask questions, when you've uh, tried to figure it out and nothing is working, you're even doing everything that the Bible tells you to do over and over again, and nothing's working. It's because we started in the wrong place. We didn't start by crying out to the Father and saying, Father, help. I can't do this. This is more than me, but it's not more than you. God invites us in to do the work of the kingdom, but we do the work of the kingdom by his power, not our own. We do the work of the kingdom by crying out and praying, by saying, God, we submit this to you. When, when we share our faith with our friends, it's not us that brings them to uh, God. We are faithful to share the witness and the truth about the gospel, but it is the work of God in them that brings them to God. This is the kingdom. It's the work of Jesus. So remember that next time you feel like you're beating your head against the wall, maybe it's because this kind can come out only by prayer. Can I pray for us right now? Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for loving us, for washing us clean, for allowing us to enter uh, into your court through the curtain that is the body of Christ, like you spoke in Hebrews, to be able to walk right up to the mercy seat, the throne of heaven, And with confidence lay down our petitions. With confidence lay down the things that we are asking you for. God, there is work, so much work that can only be done by you, by your hand. And that you are just waiting and allowing us to cry out to you. God, help us to learn to make that our first resort and not our last. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Catch you next time.
remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.